Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Key Red, and I'm back with another video. And today I just wanted to do a quick little video and give a general overview of today's patch update. So I uploaded the game without my mods folder, without my saves. And this is the first thing I noticed, and I forgot that quick because I read over the patch notes very quickly. But this is part of the patch update. It's called Main Menu Messaging. It basically lets us know what's new, what's coming to the Sims. So it says new patches out. We've added new clothing to the Holiday Celebration Pack, multi-story columns, and scalable UI. Click to check out the full patch notes for details. And then you can click this button and it'll take you to it. So... I don't know if you guys noticed, um, but we have this little free stuff pack down here called Holiday Celebration Pack that I've been downloaded. So basically, they just added more to it. So if you don't have this down here, then you should definitely um, get that. I mean, it's free, so why not? And look, guys, it let us know what's coming to the game. Obviously, we know the Sims 4 Discovery University is coming out this Friday free um no um, excuse me not free is available for everyone it says enroll sims in school explore collegiate experiences and enjoy extracurricular activities and then of course you can click on there and learn more so um the next thing I want to do is go into cast and show you the brand new items that came with the patch update today alrighty guys so we are in cast with the um, created sim part of the patch update today. So as you guys can see, um, the patch update for the created sim items were catered to the children and toddlers today, which I am here for because anything that involves the children and toddlers, I'm here for it because you already know they are lacking a lot of stuff. They don't get a lot of clothes with the packs because it is mostly catered towards, you know, the adults, young adults, adults, elders. So here's the new top. It comes with a um, pattern shirt. Here's the brown shirt. And here's another pattern shirt. And that pattern shirt. Then we have the solid color. That's really nice. The red solid color. And then you got the blue and brown. The white and gray. The green. And that color right there. Blue and tan. Which is very, very cute. I think my favorite pattern would probably be the very first one I had on him. And maybe this one that he has on. And then definitely this red and black. Shoot. Matter of fact, all the solids. I love them. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. But yeah, definitely, definitely. Also, it came with new boots. Here are the um swatches for those right there all right and then um also female child also got a new top right here as you guys can see here are the swatches got pink and um what's that um i can't think of that type of green i really love this swatch right here this gold right there got this swatch this black the blue and white that one red another red and white and they also got the boots so it's the same uh swatches with that the toddler males and females got full body outfits right here let me quickly go through the swatches for that aren't they just cute Sims team, you guys really did a great job with this. This is very, very nice. Uh, I guess my favorites, this is really nice. That one, uh, I really like this one. This is the one he had on. And then, of course, the top three had uh, the patterns. And they also came with uh, new shoes. So here are the swatches for those. Quickly show you guys that one. Pink, red, white, and yellow. We're going to put these brown ones back on. Okay, so also the, and last but not least, the female talents, y'all. This is too freaking cute. Y'all have to admit, I mean, the Sims team gave them leg warmers. It would have been nice if the female child had leg warmers also. But here are the swatches. This is so freaking cute. I actually like this, and I'm. If you watch my LPs with kids, um, 
I think I'm going to uh, be putting this on them. So the first three were patterns. We're getting into the solids now. That's the one I had on her. We got that one. Mm -hmm. These are so freaking cute. I love it. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go in game real quick and show you um, what's new for build and buy. Alrighty guys, so we are here in uh, build and buy mode and the update <coughs> that came for builders um, would be the multi-height columns. Uh, I know people are calling it multi-story. I mean, it's the same difference. So basically, you can just get a, um, a column now and instead of like doing it, you can literally drag it up two stories. Oh, let's go up. I mean, look how high that. Now, that's pretty dang high. So, it looks like that's about as high as it'll go. But that's great for builders. Uh, I'm excited for them, you know, on that part. But, but yeah, that was the main thing I wanted to show you guys for that. And uh, I wanted to show you some new in-game features. Down here, we have this new thing called accessibility. And it's the UI scale. Where we can, the UI is, you know, the bottom where it shows all the sims, the time, the day, and, you know, everything down here at the bottom. Well, you can now scale it. Uh, either, the, that's the smallest, and that's pretty dang big. <laughs> so, I think that now that we have this ability, I would probably make it to about right here. Uh, I think it was normally, um, oops, you can restore, okay, I'll put it on default, default is about right there, but, uh, I would probably keep it to about right here, just because, and, um, let me go ahead and apply those changes, okay, so, and then it says, unlaunch the game with auto UI scale based on the operating system. Display settings for that monitor. This may cause UI to not display correctly if you are playing on low resolutions with high display settings. So I think my settings are on ultra graphic. Yeah, it's on ultra. Okay, y'all. So the Sims team has added the hip hop station to base game and they got some uh, brand new songs. I want to show you guys real quick. Here it is hip hop. But. They also put in their patch notes that the songs that came with Get Famous will only be there if you um, have, have uh, Get Famous. So we got some new songs right here. Big Mo by Bo Young Prince. Is it playing? Oh, there it go. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm not going to play that too much, but we also have, um, it got me hyped a little bit. Okay, we also got BMO by Ari Lennox. Even Rico Nasty in is in this thing. But that's freaking cool. That's freaking cool. So we also got Dumb Struck by Sarati. Ooh, hey, hey. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. <laughs> okay, stop before we get copyrighted. So basically from BMO all the way down to Blacklist, oh, we didn't listen to Good Life, is all the new songs added to the uh, base game. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that's all the new features when it comes to um, the in-game stuff. I have one more topic I want to talk about real quick, which I think everybody is pretty much excited for is the community gets to vote for the new stuff pack coming out in 2020 this does start on november 18th so make sure y'all get in on that vote um i know my youtube fam gonna vote so make sure y'all do that because i will be voting so the voting blocks is theme and gameplay the art style clothing selections i object selections and title okay so then we have uh 
So for art and crafts, if if we do like an art theme, we'll be getting like pottery wheel, edible art, embroidery, and cross stitch, knitting, and glass fabrication. Yeah, I don't know about y'all. That's pretty cool. And that sounds more towards the elders because the elders really could use more um, stuff to do. So self-care routines, fitness watch, custom teas, and herbal infusions. Oh, my goodness. I've been wanting a vegan trait for so freaking long because there are different types out there, not just vegetarian. You got vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian. So I think that's pretty cool. The healthy living aspiration. Oh my God, y'all. I'm I'm gonna have to do a whole LP or machinima around this healthy living aspiration. That's if the community votes for it. That's if the community votes for it. So fun tech, so simulated sports screen, indoor cycling machine, and treadmill with screens. Now my thing with that is we already got treadmills, you know what I'm saying? I wish we could get um, some, some animations with like, I don't know, dumbbells or something. But anyway, let's keep going. Indoor cycling machine and treadmill with screens, virtual pudding screen and modular mini golf. Ooh, mini golf. That would be totally fun. Void critter locator, portable hologram, best friend. Oh my God. That's going to be hilarious, but that's so funny. So a science technology desktop microscope stem kits building blocks food science and kitchen appliances astronomy and portable telescope uh happy hunts ghost hunter freelance career huh interesting i don't know how to pronounce that seance seance table and spirit board psychic freelance career grim reaper oh my god grim reaper freelance career that would be so funny and the haunted house lot traits. And then, yeah, so that's about it for that part. So make sure you guys start voting on November 18th. Um, it is on November 25th. But, yeah, guys, so those are the main features of today's patch update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if I should do more patch update overviews. Um. I don't think I've ever done one before. And if I have, it was a very long time ago. But yeah, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts. Always remember I love you guys. And of course, always remember to be you, do you, and stay true. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.